Hey everyone, Bernard here with the latest citizen vlog and it's a city present. I mean, uh, we did a thing on um, the programs the other week and with the city away programs, obviously the sort of program who's was the best program, obviously uh, I think Wolverhampton Wanderers won it now from memories. I did it three or four weeks ago and a lot's happened in three or four weeks. I've, I've worked many hours and I've managed to get an odd sleep in as well. So, but I'm going to have a look at the city programs today and Funnily enough, there's exactly 20 programmes that I've got here from the home games this season. So I'm going to do a top 20 of the City programmes based on the covers. And obviously, just just I'll pick one great thing out of each, one sort of section out of each one as well, a little an image or, or a story or whatever in it as I'm going through. So it's like a top 20 of City programme. So if you've got all the programmes, see if you agree with me about the, the cover that's the best. And you know you know what covers will be down at the bottom on mine. All these uh, the artist in, impression ones will be quite low down, I think, on my top 20. Because you know me, I, I wasn't overly impressed with the the artwork of some of these drawings that were done, etc. Anyway, please, if you're new to the Citizen channel, please push the old subscribe button. Tell your friends about us, uh, you know, the, uh, we're, we're quality, not quantity on subscribers. But... Uh, I try and uh, put a lot of stuff out there. Obviously, I'm doing cities and past, cities and present, and obviously cities and quizzes as well at the moment. So please uh, encourage everyone else, if, they, if they're not already following me, to, to give me a follow. Push that bell notification so you know when these vlogs are coming out. And it's great to get views, but it's great to get thumbs ups as well. So any thumbs ups. Um, again, thank you for all people who commented and sent me nice messages about these videos. It's very much appreciated. Right, let's get on with it. Top 20. Right, number 20. Worst programme. Worst city programme of the season. Because the season has ended, as you know, if you watch my vlogs. And it's got to upset a few people, actually. But I've, uh, I've seen these guys a lot. And I get a bit bored with what I've seen them, really, in these images. I've seen them many, many times. They're quite good back in the uh, in the 90s, etc. But I'm getting I'm a bit bored with them now, to be honest with you. So that's my least favourite programme of the season. In at number 20. Obviously, the gallery are great pictures. I mean, these, these are mainly Kevin Cummings' pictures, aren't they? So I'll, if there's anyone else I'll mention, but please, my apologies if, if I forget to mention the photographer, etc. Well, yeah, that's my least favourite. But inside that least favourite thing is one of my favourite images, obviously. So you've got my least favourite programme, but obviously one of the, my favourite images. Yeah, no, Vinny, no, don't, 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 don't shoot, Vinny. But, I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, that is one element in the programme that sort of saves it from being a total, you know, I'll just rip it up and put it in the bin, but fantastic. So from the Gallagher's to, to Vincent Company. So number 20, right, in at number 19. Let's have a look at number 19. What was better than, uh, just about be a bit better than the, than the Gallagher's, obviously. Um, we've got Mr. Collar off, aren't we? Scoring our first ever Champions League goal, first ever European major uh, the the elite trophy, if you like, goal obviously for City um, color off. It's great. It's a great image, but obviously it's just less meaningful to me, particularly. And they, they talk about his goal again, yeah, obviously against Napoli, wasn't it? If you remember against Napoli. But the thing I like in this is obviously it does have a section on it and showing that's the full color version of that. So obviously, yeah, see, it's like hey, it's, it's seamless. So it does that. That's the best bit in that program. Obviously, just just talking about the goal, City's first UEFA Champions League goal. Obviously, so that was an interest. That's at number eight. That's at number nineteen. Right, at number eighteen. What have we got? At number eighteen. Oh, still got, still got images. We've not got any artist impressions yet. It's, it's a pile on, but I mean that's all right. It's, it's okay. It's all right. I like, I like this enamoured badge with these Champions League games. Obviously, it looks looks really nice. That's it at number 18. But what's my little favourite? That's an interesting one, actually. There's a great picture of... Uh, this is at Crystal Palace, Sergio at Crystal Palace. But doesn't that, that have a feel of a drawing? If that had been a drawing, it wouldn't have been down near the bottom with some of these that I'm going to show you in a minute. I mean, that, that does have a... It's Again, I think it's Kevin Cummings. I mean, if it's not, my apologies. But, uh, yeah, it was at Crystal Palace, um, coming out of Crystal Palace. It does look like a drawing, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a, a camera. But that, that's what it is. Superb. But the fact to put it in bracket, yeah. Sorry, that was Tom Tom Flathers. Tom Flathers, another another city photographer. So I don't know how many have we got. I thought, I thought there was a young lady doing them. I, don't, I, I get confused anyway, my dolls. Right. At number 17. And the guy I've 
I, I love the guy, obviously, but I've never quite forgiven him for Luton, Luton Town. And to be honest, everyone goes on about that goal for Luton Town. But I think if this guy had stayed on his line, I think he'd come flapping at the ball. I think he may, he would, may have had a chance of saving it. If he had to come and try to get it and flapped it and moved it on somewhere, it, it probably wouldn't have ended up in the back of our net against Luton Town in the 80s, obviously. Of course, I'm talking Mr. Alex Williams. So I'll never quite forgive you. If you're watching Alex, I'm sure you're not. I'll never quite forgive you for that. So that's why you're down in uh, number 17 spot. <laughs> I can get one over. Get one over off you for, for, for absolutely destroying me for uh, God knows how many years, obviously. And in that programme, I mean, the, the main thing I, I wanted to, to show you was this, really. It was uh, obviously, there's a piece obviously showing old games when we're playing this is a west ham game obviously that alex williams one that was um obviously this one here was a great game jimmy greaves his debut for west ham i hadn't i hadn't realized uh obviously when this when they slaughtered us in the mud but i mean i just remember it was a soaking day i was there that day joe corrigan had an absolute nightmare but that's my favorite little bit favorite little great black and white image there in that one and at number 16 We've got, well, Raheem, but again, it's it's not a bad one actually. That's one of the better ones. That's one of the better uh, presentations of the artwork. Obviously, you have Wolverhampton Wanderers are playing that day, so um, that's all right. That's okay. But obviously, what what I liked about in this was obviously this is um, Kevin Cummings, and obviously it was pictures of the Gene Kelly. I mean, obviously I had a season car, but my lad used to take his friend. So I used to always go buy an, I used to buy an extra ticket for one of these where I could get basically. So half the time he ended up in one of these Gene Kelly stands, either at the, at the Platte Lane end, the North Stand end or, you know, sorry, the, uh, yeah, the North Stand end. Or, so I used to get tickets for either or depending what I could get. Cause obviously I let my lad's friend have my season card. So, or season ticket was it then? Obviously in those days, I forget now when it changed. So they're great images of that. I mean, the cardboard there, and then you get the uh, couple of good. Look at that. I mean, look at the. Color. I mean, why don't we have blue seats, for instance? I mean, <laughs> it's like Wimbledon, isn't it? Green seats there, but obviously all covered. And uh, I always refused a poncho. I never took a poncho. I thought it was a bit of a mad ass thing to do. I and mean, that's a great picture up the entry and it, looking at Kipak Street there. So that's my favourite bit in in that program. Which could have really put that bit higher up the inside but we're talking covers as, as the criteria for, for deciding the program in at number 14 yes we have another little drawing this was a game against brighton back in august one of the early games obviously mr laporte but again not not one of my favorite covers i'm sorry that's in at number 14 but inside there's a couple of great images you had them um, uh, again this is kevin cummings again so please bear with me if i get these wrong uh, that's Dennis Stewart, a great picture. I used that in one of the quizzes recently, but that's a great picture there of Zab, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the, uh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the stitches in his head there. Look at the Frankenstein moment. Well, that is our Zab in it. That's a fantastic picture. I mean, that, that deserve. I mean, if I was picking pictures out of the programmes to be near the top, that would be one of the top ones, obviously, alongside someone like Vinny and stuff like that. And at number 14... So look at what number hit number 14. Obviously, they got that. I mean, it, it's a classic moment, isn't it? But again, it's been done to death, hasn't it? I mean, <laughs> it was it was important, but it's been done to death. Mr. Paul Dick off there. So that's that's only in at number 14. And the moments in time was, was thinking back to the Sheffield United FA Cup game with the balloons, where obviously we let a goal in because well, we were distracted by the balloons. Sure, the game should have been stopped while we popped all the balloons, but uh, there you go. That's how, it, that's how it goes, and the best of it was there were our balloons. So that's even worse, really, isn't it? I mean, it's, it worked against us, and they were our sky blue, our sky blue balloons. But that was a that was a nice touch in that program. At number thirteen, Southampton game. Obviously, Southampton game is going to feature. Obviously, the Southampton game where we became the Centurions, wasn't it? With the, the wonderful Gabby Jesus last last seconds goal, basically. So that's a, that is a nice cover. So, I mean, there's a lot of good covers to come, isn't there? Isn't there? If, uh, if that's only number 13. And inside, what, what I liked, it was obviously Buzz, Buzzard does a column, and he might some of it. But what I liked was the, obviously, playing Southampton, he just showing an old picture of the Dell. 
But I mean, that was a great. I used to love watching, looking. I never went to the Dell, unfortunately. It was just a bit far for me to go Southampton when I was going to football. It seemed a long way away and cost probably more than I could afford. So, but I always loved watching it on TV. The shape of the ground, it always it always impressed me. The Dell, even though it's a tatty little ground, it always did impress me. All right, number twelve. Here we go, number twelve. <laughs> the group one of the well. A legend, a club legend, but obviously, again, it's artwork, isn't it? I'm not overly impressed with the artwork, so oh, we're going to top them up for there. So I'm afraid, uh, David, you're a bit down the pecking order there, which is a bit unfortunate. But the images are fantastic because we're playing Tottenham there. So we're showing some old games against Tottenham. And if you look at the get, obviously, why I lo always love the shelf. I think I've said in my history vlogs, the shelf at, at Spurs, oh, I loved it. I just love I just love the old stand. It's just so old-fashioned, but brilliant. Loved it, loved it. But this is what amazes me, this picture. This picture, because that's why I art laying as well. But look how small that stand is. Obviously, that was back in the 1900, 1900-something. That was... Uh, we'll see what day it was. Uh, hey, 1913, yeah, so that was before war. But look how little the stand is. You can bear it. Uh, I don't know if that turned into the shelf or, or the stand at the other side. I'm not too sure of the, the history of that. But that's, I thought that's a great image of uh, the Tottenham. At uh, number 11, so I didn't, even, didn't quite make the top 10. And guess who didn't make the top 10? Well, <laughs> shocking. I'm going to get a real, real telling off <laughs> the comments for these uh, picks. But uh, in at number 11, Sergio Aguero there, obviously celebrating after a European goal. But what I liked on the inside is, uh, obviously, it was talking about Champions, the Champions League programme again with the shiny badge. But uh, it was talking about Champions, the Italian job. And I always, obviously, we talk about European games, City, the Italian job. And I always remember the minibus in the Italian job movie. I think they had uh, Lee Bell and some of it certainly had Liam Bell on it. I'm not sure if some of you was on it from memory now, but I do remember the uh, the minibus having Liam Bell on it. I, I was quite proud of that as a young man. You know, oh, look at that city players on the bus in a, in a major film. You know, it was quite like like uh, Escape Escape to Victory. You know, with city players playing that. I mean, you know, always always impressed me. I always thought it was a claim to fame because we didn't have much else to brag about, did we? Right, number ten again, one of my heroes. But again, look at the artwork. I mean, just ruins it for me. But because it's him, because it's Joe Mercy, he made number he made number ten, made the top ten, twenty sixth of October. Um, obviously, inside just some great stuff, and it was it was about the uh, inflatables, and it's just just a great image of some of the inflatables, the alcohols, the cactus, the space shuttle, obviously the bananas and. Some dolphins or whales, I can't figure out what they are, but uh, they're not sharks, are they? Which I've we had later. I love the way people used to tie a scarf around the banana as well, which is quite funny. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a great image in there. But Joe, only only number, he made the top 10, only number 10. Number nine. See, we are getting number nine, so we are getting higher up, aren't we? I mean, oh, the legend of Sean Golton, obviously the uh, the goal against United there, isn't it? And obviously this is a, a game against United, so he's quite rightly on the front cover. There's always sort of link between the cover and what what the game is itself, which is always good to watch. And um, inside, obviously, there we go, go from that to the real thing, and it's uh, this guy's face that I love. Look at his face. <laughs> Doesn't look impressed, does he? he? Never, he never has a good thing to say about City these days. Really. So, I like that because you know, suck it, you know, suck it, suck it, boy. So that's that one. Right in at number eight again. This is a moment in time again. This has been done to death, but it was a classic, wasn't it? I mean, again, it's again a United program. I guess United we played them a couple of times, don't we? At the Etihad this year, but obviously a great celebration, celebratory program. Three great players. Uh, in the eights, and obviously the five one back here back in the eighties, and inside, obviously, just to rub it in. I mean, that's a great picture, isn't it? I mean, look, look who's there. <laughs> but that the Ottomendi with the United badge, that's such a great picture inside, absolutely fantastic. That's Victoria Hayden, that one. So, Victoria Hayden's in gets a little shout out as well. But that, that was great, that I'm impressed, impressed by that. And we're getting near the top five, aren't we? In at number seven. And we got that, the sort of retro thing. And obviously, you, you know, if, um, you, you sort of know me, don't you? So, you know, some of my top ones are going to be a bit historical, aren't they? Because obviously, that's what I'm really into. But obviously, that was taken from 
an old program that uh, there's the there's all this, this the program originally obviously back in whenever what was that year was that so trying to find out um uh, 19 nine, early 1900s but i just the just the show of the old program obviously gary james had done that uh, words david clayton as well clayton was involved in this as well so just great 1923 so it's obviously the white horse final at wembley 1923 that was from so literally when city moved to uh, main road as well so that's a great one so that coming at number seven so there must be some good history ones wasn't there at number six it's not a history it's, it's an image it's a it's a great image and of course i was there that day the last day of the standing kip acts obviously with that massive flag we used to have that massive uh, sky blue white maroon wasn't it and uh if you got up close to it it was quite dirty but in the distance it looked pretty good but i mean you took you took some stick didn't it that was for the game against chelsea and again but similar to the Tottenham thing i think what i like about the thing is it the show Stamford Bridge and the old Stamford Bridge. I love that. Look how imposing it looks. I mean, you mentioned going there to a night game in the in the seventies and the intimidation. You know, it's intimidating going to these sort of places. You know, it's, it really was for all of us. You know, but some great images of Stamford Bridge there. It's absolutely fantastic. That's what I like about uh, that's that's my favourite thing. Look at the famous red and red and black stripes there for City as well. Absolutely superb moments in time. Right, we're into the top five, aren't we? Right, number five. Well, yeah, I was there. He's running towards where I was stood. So, I mean, I had to pick this one, didn't I? Obviously, the wonderful Peter Barnes and Southampton, obviously, around for the uh, League Cup. Peter Barnes, and he, he comes, jump behind the goal, obviously, where the City fans are, where I was behind the goal. I did have a ticket for the Newcastle end in that game, but I managed to, to, to just swap it with the Newcastle fans, so that was quite lucky. I, I didn't get a ticket for the City end, unfortunately. And what I like about the inside, obviously, we, I'm not really into the City women's football at all, but I, I have a little sort of... I want them to do well, obviously, as, as you do, but it's just a nice thing inside with the, some images of uh, one of the players. I can't think who she is. I wouldn't know. If, 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 you, get, if you put them all in front of me, there's a couple I would know, but... Uh, Obviously, Lauren Hemp. Obviously, most of them I don't really know who they are. Three or four of the city players I could probably name the women, but it's great that with the kit and without the kit, and the, obviously where she lives there, that's where she where her home is, etc. That that's a nice little thing. That's the, they don't obviously sit, the women get a, a nice place in the program now, don't they? Into the top four. Right, what's number four? Let's have a look at number four. Well, he he appeared earlier, didn't he? So he's got in twice, which is quite right. But yeah. You just gotta put Sergio in there. I'm so you know, all right. It's a couple of, but I love the way it's the old and the new, if you like. It's it's the original Sergio and the new newer Sergio. You know, so that's uh, that had to be up there, didn't it? The top five I had to put Sergio in, and inside, there's some images of fans with the league cup when he could actually hold it rather than bloody it's stuck on a on a plinth and he can just stand behind it, etc. I mean, these are just great of some fans being able to hold, hold the league cup and pretty jealous. I mean, you can't just do that these days. And I never got a picture of the old, you know, in the 70s, 60s, 70s when we were winning, when they won those things. But, you know, it's great to see the fans being able to uh, to, to hold it there. It's fantastic. If someone dropped it. I mean, it would have been a bit pricey. Right into the top three. What's at number three? Number three. <laughs> it was a game against Fulham, and it was a significant game for a gentleman called Bert Troutman, wasn't it, back in 1950? So it's an image of that game where he sort of started to win the English fans over, obviously hated him, but uh, we did lose the game, but he had such a wonderful game. If you've watched my um, history vlogs, etc., obviously we covered the game in, when we looked at 1950, but uh, obviously there's a great image. And obviously I love the way it's colour at the colour, but obviously... The, the background's black and white. I love. I love, just love that effect. It's a great effect. It's a, it's obviously a, nothing clever about it. It's just what it does. And then inside, you've also got a little tribute to Joyce Johnston, who was um, one of obviously City's backroom staff, who is obviously um, a laundry woman and that sort of thing. But obviously, it was a lovely tribute. And obviously, it included the picture, the, the famous picture of all the staff with Peter Swales. But then you've got Joyce Johnston there in the white dress uh, as a young. 
lady you know, she's a little bit older but she'd passed away but that's a nice little tribute by city to joyce johnston there uh, member of city's backroom staff i mean that was that was in january so um obviously she'll be on the remembrance thing this year won't she i think and probably she she died unfortunately after the last one and on to number two another fantastic image one of my things that i loved when i was a kid because i thought oh look at all them city fans at newcastle so i did enjoy that and uh, it's a sort of a few years later you wouldn't <laughs> you wouldn't it was quite uncomfortable to go to newcastle but you know just in the late 60s it wasn't hadn't quite kicked off properly so say so it was probably more comfortable than than i when i went in the 80s put it that way 70s and 80s it was never comfortable going to newcastle but what an image of obviously franny never very sylph like was he franny but that's uh my number two so obviously it's talk it was an everton game there but my number two for the franny lee picture there and inside what we got inside yeah i mean it was just a little thing of it was the end of the year so it's city's decade which just shows everything you know all the all the accomplishments how many games how many goals etc that was just a nice piece you know it's sort of a couple of quiz questions in there isn't there <laughs> well, i really enjoyed that right number one so you had all them so so what have we got at number what, what have we got so number five we had peter barnes newcastle at number five number four we had sergio number three we had bert wonderful bert troutman watch the film keeper if you've never seen it. there's some people haven't seen the keeper yet that are city fans why and number two francis lee I can't remember what that end's called at Newcastle, not the Leasers. That's their popular end, or you know, that was their popular end, wasn't it? But at number one, well, I've got a princess. I've got a princess on, on this. I've got a princess on the picture. Um, and I've also got a skipper. So have you guessed what it, guess what it is yet? <laughs> it was Port Vale in the third round of it. I think it was the FA Cup, this one. So obviously, yeah, I mean, it's, it's my number one, obviously, Princess Anne. Even the trophy to skip there, Tony Buck, absolutely fantastic. My favourite of the season. I hope you and I hope you agree with that. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you agree with my number one image. That's uh, well, that's me, isn't it? I mean, obviously, it's perhaps some younger guys would go things things like Sergio, etc. But um, that's history, isn't it? That's history in a photo, isn't it? You know, a, a royal princess and uh, skip there, Tony Buck. And inside there, anything exciting? Well, I've that's just a bit of fun, really. But I thought I thought this was a foul throw, to be honest with you, by Pep. I thought a bit bit dubious whether it was a, a legitimate throw or not. So um, <laughs> I just thought I'd put that in. But anyway, that's my number one, my number one city program. Not not for the content, as, <laughs> as you know. I, I don't rate the city. I, I give them a six out of ten, probably average rating city programs, apart from the Gary James stuff. Some some of the old pictures, obviously, and some of some of the images are very very good. But content wise, it's it's quite low down on the on the programs. So that's my top twenty of programs. So if you agreed with that, and um, just have a quick look at Twitterverse for a go today. So a few things we obviously had images of the um, so called city kit, haven't we? Next season's home shirt. This sort of mottled thing. I'm not overly impressed. I know some of these kits grow on you, don't they? But uh, I don't know what you think about it. But uh, can you see it on there? All right. Yeah, sort of mottling effect, marble effects. I know there's a paisley thing as well, which is something to do with music. I'm not really into that sort of side of it anyway. So I don't really know about that. And the urban spaceman at Conal underscore fits. Sterling Moss, yes, passed away. Tim Brooke Taylor, again, I mean, old guys like me, I remember Tim Brooke Taylor. I used to love the goodies and things like that. Obviously, Sterling Moss. I mean, I, I still even use, I had to update my joke about speeding because I always mentioned Sterling Moss, which is obviously a, an advert as well, wasn't it? Who do you think you are, mate? Sterling Moss, this sort of thing. But So even even I used to say up to, up to recently that Sterling Moss, but people look at me as home daft because they didn't know who Sterling Moss was, but... Obviously, he's passed away. And Peter Benetti, and again, a bit like Alex Williams, I never quite forgive Peter Benetti. Obviously, he had to step into the 1970 World Cup because Gordon Banks was injured. 
And I, I sort of blamed him for, for losing us the game against Germany in the same way I blame Alex Williams. Yeah, I hold a grudge, me, don't I? <laughs> 84 was it Alex Williams and the 1970. Yeah, I do hold a grudge, so don't, don't get on the bad side of me. So, yeah, Peter Benetti. Uh, rest in peace, but <laughs> I'll forgive you. All right, I'll forgive you now, obviously. But uh, I never quite forget. I was in tears. I was in. I was only what ten in nineteen seventy. I didn't really remember much about sixty six, but obviously uh, I remember at age ten really being invested in in England and the England West Germany game, the quarter final, wasn't it? it was a quarter final? Uh, I was just in, I just went to the back garden and was in tears. I remember crying my eyes out about it. Probably more than City actually at the time, but obviously I never never felt like that about England as opposed to City again. That's for sure. It sort of knocked it out of me. So anyway, rest in peace, those guys. Great shame. Um, and this is quite good. I mean, this Bert purple heart at steep purple heart he said the new kit might be shit but this is mint and yeah what it is they're actually revisiting some great goals 8-bit style so the 8-bit computer style so it's actually absolutely some great stuff on it let's show you the uh, images and obviously you start like a player yeah, look at the and it shows obviously a, a brilliant but obviously we know what goal it's going to show you'll know what goal it's going to show as it plays through but all done on 8-bit style graphics, so it's absolutely fantastic. That really did uh, did make me uh, smile when I saw that. So that's on. If you want to look at that, obviously, it's under Manchester City at Man City. So that's the sort of stuff they're doing to keep us entertained, which is really good. Uh, Kevin Cummins, uh, uh, sorry, Kevin Cummins has been doing some pictures, hasn't he, of the... Uh, on on the internet of old city things you know city related and non-city related but some other great pictures coming out as well and at gd ads army just just a picture of the kipper and I, I sort of remember this and i sort of commented about obviously it was like pay that little bit of the kipak says how it's paid but i mean that was like uh, most most from what i remember the kipaks was weeds and rubble sort of thing on that banking and then i also remember the old stairs the stairs there that you can see obviously the new stairs going over you put this sort of built new stairs over you could see but you can see the old ones and i used to love looking at the old ones under the new one i mean that's me i'm just history and i just i just used to really enjoy looking at the old ones you know and obviously before they know the kipaks was eventually knocked down um uh, mank pictures at mank underscore pictures uh, he said he's just been sent this uh it's all going off in salford and obviously <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> so obviously it's not social distancing are this obviously shocking now shocking sights in salford but uh yeah lowry obviously a big a manchester city fan as we know as well so but i love that i did have a calendar i've got I've, cut, I've kept the images and stuff. I didn't have a calendar last year or the year before of Lowry. And yeah, I'll, if I had if I had some money, I'd probably buy a Lowry. I do like Lowry. Amongst many artists, you know, I'm quite eclectic. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, I do like I do like the the simpleness of the Lowry stuff. Uh, yeah, City on a card, City on a card one. Uh, another from my archive. City fans in a pub near Stoke prior to the great fancy dress party on Boxing Day. So I mean. That sort of some city fans up, doesn't it? Having a pint in the pub, you know, <laughs> They're a bit hot in there, I bet, because I think it was it was it, it was Boxing Day. So fortunately, it wasn't it wasn't overly warm, was it? But uh, that's quite funny. That was at City on a card one. He does some good stuff on there, and the last one today, and it's uh, from Horlock Sweet Left Peg at Big Hard Day one, and it's just a little thing. I thought I thought I'd try and if I can find any dodgy jokes that are corny jokes just to finish off just to lighten things we've got to lighten things these days haven't we so this is thanks to Horlock sweet left peg at big hard dave one and he says a joke a bit red face when he a little red face um emoji at the end of it and no wonder a friend of mine was in a sports shop when he tripped and fell into a golf club display stand the paramedics have said that he's stable but he's not out of the woods yet there you go. We finish off on that. So thank you, Twitter. I mean, without you, I'd miss things like that. So anyway, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the program. Things a quick look at Twitter first. I'll be back with something else soon. Don't forget, there's loads of city city past stuff. There's I've just uh, downloaded part six of the city history. Uh, there's lots of different things coming out. There'll be a, 
be a May thing coming out for May. Um, obviously, we did April 2002, didn't we? So there'll be a May. And I can't I can remember what year it was, but there'll be a, there'll be a May um, coming out in the next couple of weeks. Well, towards about the 20, between the 20th and 24th of April. So there's lots of stuff coming out. Please push that notification button so you know when these little vlogs come out anyway. And obviously, you know about the quizzes. I've got tons of quizzes. I mean, there's tons of quizzes out there. I've already done a few quizzes just to publish as and when. So please stick with me and hopefully we'll get through this. And I hope we can entertain and you get a bit of fun out of this anyway. Thanks for watching the programs. Let me know what your favourite pro. I've get get your programs out. See what you think, or just look back at this and rate the programs as I, as I'm looking through them. Then come up with your top top ones and let me know what they are. Do, will they agree with me, or do you think I'm totally wrong? But uh, hey, there you go. You met someone. I know one one of my uh, subscribers will definitely have uh, the Gallagher's up there as number one. So I mean, <laughs> I've got them as number twenty. It's all opinions, anyway. Please follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on either at Charles Deneen, D I W N W N, or at Nostalgia underscore movie. I've got a couple of accounts. They're both linked. They both cover football. And obviously, the other thing I do is movie vlogs. If you're into movies or TV dramas, please check those out as well. If you're, if you're a City fan, but you like your movies and stuff, please I do. There's lots and lots of vlogs on there and specials and reviews, etc. Please check that out. And I'm on Facebook at Bernardine. With links to movie game nostalgia.com, my little website, my little day job, if you like, or one of my day jobs. I've got a couple at the moment. I need just to, I need I needed a second one just to pay, you know, just to pay the bills at the moment. So uh, please movie game nostalgia.com for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s, and old rarer board games are on there. So if you can get on there and have a quick look around, much appreciated. And as I said, if you can give us a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Anyway, thanks a lot for bearing with me. Just over 30 minutes, so I'll be back with something else very soon. What are you going to do with the rest of your day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family, and let's all look after each other. And this is Bernard saying goodbye for now. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.